All right, for my first ROM review, uh, I will be doing Grievous Flex. Uh, so what this is going to show you is I'm going to show you how to install the Grievous Flex ROM. I just got the phone. I've done all my rooting. Uh, the only thing I've done is I copied uh, some of my essential files over that I was using on my other ROMs, you know, and ringtones and make it comfortable. Wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, system. Data, cache, swipe. Note, I am using twerp 2.6.3.3. Let that go through. Go back, back, just for giggles because it's quick. There we go, back, back. I just did a factory reset, a wiped. We're going to install the Grievous Flex file wherever you installed it. Slide. I have not installed this ROM before, so if I encounter problems, you'll see them when I see them. Um, it is important to remember that uh, on XDA forms and reporting problems that you come across, um, that you do do a clean install before you report any problems. Uh, also to note, um, maybe in my next video I'll show you, I actually watch all but maybe a very select few of the ROMs that are going on for the LG G2 uh, that they make that are compatible for the D800. Um, I even dig into the Sprint ROMs because I do have a friend who has a, a Sprint variant and I do help him out as well um, find what ROMs are working. So any day I'm probably reading anywhere from 30 posts upwards to 50 when there's a new update that comes out. Um, so I stay pretty up to date with uh, what's going on on ROMs for these phones. My goal is to install these ROMs, use them for at least two days, and then do a video review. So you'll get a video on how to install it, and you'll get a video on the review. Um, it'll be features that are working, features that... Uh, okay. Uh, that might be listed that aren't working. Uh, I will check Bluetooth. I'll check battery life. I'll give you benchmarks. Uh, I will do my best to go through the settings and uh, try all of the features that the ROM has to offer, even the ones that I don't use. Um, now, peculiarly, I just installed this, and it does say 0000, for the time. That's actually probably because I have no SIM card on the phone yet. Uh, SIM card still on my note because I have not had a chance to uh, do anything with this phone yet aside from root it and install twerp and like I cut my files over so that's probably what that is so I'm gonna give this a good 10 minutes to set um, and then I will uh, begin using it setting it up for myself and uh, give it a good two days and check back with me and you should see a review of Grievous's uh, flex ROM unless there's an update uh, that he institutes between now and then, in which case uh, I will evaluate doing an early review and then doing the update or uh, just sticking with the current version and then uh, depending on what kind of changes are made, if changes are made, because uh, some of these developers are pumping out these updates uh, on a regular basis. Your LG-based ROMs, though, and your Flex-based ROMs seem like they're pretty stable in their updates, maybe a couple weeks apart. Um, giving you plenty of time to get used to what you have and maybe whatever they're adding you don't care about so there's that as well but there you have it there's how you install flex rom it's a one file install there's no super user to flash after there's no gaps to flash afterwards it's almost an entire gig file um, have fun downloading it unless you have uh, really good bandwidth um, and uh, I think even with good bandwidth it still takes a little while um, here at work so if there's anything you want to see me test this prompt specifically, I'm going to test Q Remote, Q Theater, uh, Q Slide, um, all those Q apps. Uh, please make comments. I'd be more than glad to check them. I will check the GPS too. All right. Thanks.